Now, when it comes time to do the initial transfer, I'm a big fan of using a dedicated external card reader. This is just gonna make it much faster than using the internal reader on your computer. Plus, if you're not shooting with an SD card, you're gonna need some extra readers anyways because most laptops don't come with anything more than that. This is gonna give you that power and flexibility as well as faster transfer times. Then, go ahead and hook up your first drive. I'm usually using a one terabyte field drive for the initial backup, and that's gonna work really well. Once these two are connected, I'll do that first transfer. And I'm moving from the card to the drive itself. Now, that's gonna make that initial backup, and I go ahead and do a verified copy using a disk utility, or if I'm in a hurry, I might just use the OS level, but still visually inspect it when it's done. Remember, you wanna make sure that that copy actually happens and that all the data is moved across. What I typically do after doing that copy is a visual inspection and I spot check several photos and files to make sure that it opens up. By randomly selecting about 50 images throughout the day, video clips, anything of that nature, and opening them, I ensure that the clips actually made it across and this gives me greater confidence that the data is there. Once that's done, for me it's pretty simple. I'll go ahead and start to make a backup copy. I can go ahead and unmount this drive. Easy enough here. There we go. And then take my second disk drive and just plug it in. Then with both copies mounted, it's easy. I'll do a copy from the one drive to the second drive. Now, some folks will prefer to take the extra step and back up from the card as an original backup. That's okay. That's just one way of doing it. There's lots of ways of managing your data. I find that from going from the one drive to the other, it's okay in my case, because remember, I'm not wiping my cards. I still have the card and I can go back to it. And this is just a matter of convenience. In fact, I'll usually take the step to organize the first drive a bit before I clone it to the second drive. And that just makes it that much faster.